Hi everybody, it's Trisha from Petra's Habits, and today we're going to put some decorations on a glass block. And uh, I've been rearranging my uh, craft room a little bit, but you can see right back, yeah, right over here is one of the glass blocks that I've already done. But I'll show you a closer picture in just a few moments right after this. <laughs> I want to say a special thank you to a fantastic patron, Ron Kruger, and to all of my supporters that have stuck through me uh, with me these past 15 months. I appreciate it greatly. Now, today, like I mentioned, we're doing a Halloween glass block. I'm putting vinyl adhesive on both sides and filling it with some lights. And before we get started, I want to show you a few things about the design. All of these images came from Cricut Access. If you're not a member of Cricut Access, you really should be. And I would choose the premium because you get 50% off on all the digital images that aren't included that way. Okay, let's look at this design. First of all, when I pulled in the uh, part that I did for the top, the rosette, it did not have these two little dots right here. So I added that. Then I decided to use, I'm using paper for the rosette, but I'm using vinyl to stick on. So... Uh, you might want to do yours in paper instead. It's up to you. And then these two pieces were cut in vinyl. Now, like I said, you could do this for any holiday or just maybe put your monogram on it. I'm using both sides because mine's going to be sitting in a window. Actually, these are gifts for my grandchildren uh, and my roommate's grandchildren. So, uh, we're doing it on both sides in hopes that they will put it in their window. If you're just putting it up against the wall, you may just want to do one side. Now, the trick that uh, I've done with the trick or treat is something I'm going to go ahead and show you in the beta version on how to do. Oh, one other note before I switch over there. If you resize this, this is smaller than what you're going to be seeing that I'm making because I'm substituting it for a bow of ribbon. And so I made it a little bit bigger, but here it's smaller. When you click on it, you want to make sure that you adjust the sizes on this also. So you may want to group them together. They're not grouped together right now, but you may want to group these items together by clicking on the, well, it's got the ungroup button up there because I've got all these grouped together. You want to make sure you, you size them accordingly. Think about it being twice the size of the width of these, or I should say the height, the way these are positioned on the screen. 
So you may want your spider a little bit smaller or these dots that I added. These are your secure dots for the front and the back. Okay, let's go on to the trick or treat. And what I did was weld this image with the spider web. So I'm going to go over here to images. You'll see it's all different colors right now. And that may be the way you like it and the way you want to do it. But I wanted to put that spider web behind it. So I type in the word in my keyboard over here. Spider web. And look at all these images that come up for Halloween. Oh, there's one. I didn't see that one earlier. Look at all these letters. All of these are part of your subscription on, Ab on Access. I almost said Abscess. <laughs> Access. Okay, did I pass it? I hope I haven't. There it is. No, that's a different one. But we could use that one as an example. So let's pull that one in. I'm going to insert the image. Okay. And I used the size of this one. Because my screen's so small, I'm going to go ahead and enlarge it. But it gives me the size. But if it hadn't, all I would have had to do was click more up here. And the glass block is like 7 by 7, so I did it at 6.5. And I kept it locked down here so that it kept it at a square. But if for some reason you unlock it, you just want to make sure that 6.5 is in both of those. You can also lock and unlock it right here. Please remember if I go too fast for you, that you can always play this back. And... Pause it anywhere along the way. Now, I placed my trick, and treat, trick or treat inside the spider web. And kind of want to get it centered. You might not want it centered, but I did. Right about there. And then I want to go up here and select all. Now, if that wasn't everything on the screen... I could just drag and select them both that way, or I could click on each one of these over here and hold the control button. The trick and treat would be this one. See how it grayed there? And then if I hold the control uh, key down and click on the cut, it selects all that way. Just a few tips for those of you that are new into design space. Now I'm checking my size, 6 by 5, 6 by 5. Okay, we've got everything selected. We do not need to group. We don't need to duplicate unless we think we're going to change our mind. All we have to do is go down here. We don't need to attach. And if you flatten it, then that means you're going to have to do a print and cut. What you want to click on is weld. Now once you weld... It makes it all the same color. Now, for whatever reason it chose black, all we have to do to change it to a different color is go up here. I wanted mine green, so I changed it to green. Okay? Very simple. Now, once you weld... You, the only way you can go back is by, or unweld, is by clicking the back button. And that takes it back to the original design. Okay, I guess black was the dominant color. I thought it was going to turn it all orange. I'm wondering if I do it this way. I'm just playing with it right now. I have selected both. And now I'm going to weld. Yeah, black's the dominant color on that design. So, we go, we select. We change it to the color we wanted. 
and then all you've got left is to make it. Be sure that when you save any of the designs from patron, uh, as a patron, that you change your design to private. I appreciate that greatly. Okay, we're going to get out of this. We're not saving it since we've got it over here. And I've already made everything for you. I apologize for the birds that are chirping. They're very happy today. And let's hope Sheba, the parrot, doesn't start squawking. You can probably hear the bubbling of the fish tank. And I'll apologize ahead of time if the DOG start barking because they think noontime is 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 uh, food time. Time. I um, I didn't really want to say that word. I'm afraid they're listening to me. Okay, let's see what all we've got here. We've got ribbon. I got that at Hobby Lobby. I've got Scotch Tacky Glue, it works real good for me. I've got the pieces that I cut out in paper, and I prepped them already, but I am going to show you a trick about those. I've got the two vinyl pieces and the spider, and I cut these out by hand, so I'm not sure if they're, they may be too big, but the, we're going to make them work or cut them down. Then I have some transfer paper by Cricut. I love Cricut's transfer paper. You just have to know which one to use. For If I was using glitter vinyl on this, which would have really been pretty. I don't know why I didn't think of you doing that. Uh, I would have wanted to use the super tacky of the Cricut transfer. And usually some comes in your roll when you buy the glitter. Okay, and I'm using the Easy Tear Tape. Some of you may want to use the red tape. It's a more permanent tape, but I found this works good for me, and I like the fact that it's Easy Tear, uh, and I'm using the 1 8 inch for the size rosette that I'm making. I also have my scraper tool from Cricut, and let's see what else. Oh, the glass block. I might need to show that to you. Uh-oh. I must have hit a button. I'm sorry. I must have hit a button. We had a blank screen. What did I leave off? Easy tear. I think I got everything. I hope so. I went ahead in this particular block. It has the slot if you want to leave the control on the outside to your lights. I chose purple lights, which with the lighting that I have on, you really can't see. And then uh, my roommate bought some garland that has some little boots on it. You can pick this up uh, at Dollar Tree, both of these items. But get them at the first of the season because they sell out pretty quick. Okay, uh, there's my lights are on now. Can you see them? I think if I hold it at a... A little bit, you'll see the change. The purple lights. Okay, but we've chose to put ours down in there, so we're going to kind of hide it. But while we're working on it, I'm not going to be concerned about where the control is. They do make a glass block that has a slot on the inside right here that uh, you can use it as a bank also. So I just thought I might mention that because I uh, that's what the other one has. But you can put anything on the inside. You could put tissue paper. You could put uh, streamers. Uh, anything you have around the house. It, with it being for Halloween, you could actually put some straw down in there. So, okay. We're going to set this aside. We'll need it in a few minutes. But, and we're going to set this vinyl aside because we're going to want something to dry. And so we're going to do it first. Now I went ahead and I prepped all of these. It takes six of them to make a full rosette. 
and I put the easy tear tape down at the bottom. You don't have to do that if you want to use glue, just gluing it together with these will hold it. And when you put that strip of tape down, be sure and flip it over to put the one that goes this way. And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, I went ahead and folded this, but I stopped on this one because my score lines don't show very well. And I don't remember if I cut it on the, I'm, I'm pretty sure I cut it on my air tube. And so for whatever reason, it's not dark enough and that happens sometimes. That's why I love the maker. With the scoring wheel, you don't have this problem. But one of the ones that I folded, I'm just going to use it as a guide. And I'm going to crease it right here. You can see I already creased. And I'm going to score and then I'm going to fold. And this gives me a guide on how wide to do it for the rest of the way. You want to revert your action back and forth. so that it will fan out, just like when you're making fans in kindergarten. And another tip that I didn't do was to put your tape on there first. But I will show you, it's not that hard in case you forget. And something else to point out as a tip, you want all of these to fold the same way so that when you put them together, they, uh, you won't have to refold them. Put it as close to your bottom edge as possible. I say easy tear and now it's not tearing for me, of course. It's like it knows the camera is on. I don't know if any of y'all have that problem. It must be a camera shy card stock. I don't know. Okay, then I'm going to flip them over. I found two sometimes when I'm making rosettes, which I love to do. that if I pre-tear the tape before I apply it, it makes it a little bit easier. Depends on the size that I'm doing. Now I'll put this back in my package. This particular tape is from Thermoweb and you can find a link uh, in the video description. Okay, I'm going to find my pick somewhere, there's going to be one. This is just the one I grabbed, it's from Cricut. And we want to get all this tape off. Make sure that they're stuck down good. And when you go to peel it up, that you're not pulling the tape off. Now, what I was talking about a while ago is that if you make sure that your tape is on the going the same way when you put them together, and notice I've gone over that. I need to pull that out. There we go. Then that tape is sticking to this tape where this tape is. It just gives you a little bit extra security. And you don't have that if you put them on the same side. Okay, I'm just pulling them up right now. Taking these off. Oh, see that one wasn't stuck good to it. Perfect example. Try the other end. There we go. And 
Am I on camera frame? Yes, I am. There's a little bit of glare today. I don't know if it's my camera or the lighting. Okay, let's pull this one off. Some people might have fingernails where you can just do it with fingernail. Notice this way they're going all the same way. That's what you want it to do. You want it to stick good. I'll pull, pull all these off when I start putting them together or folding it together. My love for rosettes started when I first got my cuddle bug. I ordered the flower, uh, what I thought was flowers for quilling, but they were actually the rosette cutlet or dye that Cricut no longer carries. But I can't tell you how many I made that year from, uh, it was for 4th of July. Okay, there, my fingernails did it on that one. If you'll notice on this one, it's a spider web pattern. That's why I chose it. I know some people are scared of spiders. Okay, we're going to go ahead and peel these off now. And we're going to start folding them together so the rosette can take form. If you pre-fold them, then this goes together pretty quickly. May not be perfect, but you've got the idea. If I had done this on the maker, these would have scored correctly. And I wouldn't have had to fold them on my own. Okay, see how it folds out? And that tape will hold the center. I heard someone say on a YouTube, I don't remember when, that they just did the glue in the center. Well, that works really well. Uh-oh. The very reason I don't use the permanent. And I told myself in my mind to be careful with this. I didn't say it out loud. But learn from my mistakes. Okay, so I need to put another little piece on there. In the correct place. I should have probably not tore that one off until the end. Okay, where is... Okay. Make sure I'm getting the end. Got it a little bit too long, didn't I? That's alright. I think when making videos, we get a little bit anxious trying to keep from wasting your time. So mistakes happen. And in my world, mistakes are going to happen anyway. 
That's just the way it is these days. Now, look how easy that goes together. Oh, camera, come on, focus. There we go. Glad I was looking at the screen. Okay, now that's where these little dots come in. Now, I... Where did I put... There's the glue. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze out a good amount here. And then I'm going to get... Just a acrylic block, fairly good size, so it's got a little bit of weight to it. Now, some people, this is a hint, if you're not using the tape, if you will fold it up like this, and then spread it down on top of that glue, it holds fairly good. But I like the tape, the security of the tape. And then I put this on top of it. Now I want to make sure that other side stuck good. Okay. Now we're going to put this over to the side and let it dry with this side down toward the desk so that weight can be on it. it won't take it but a few minutes to dry. And I'm going to add some extra weight just because I have it handy. And hope I don't knock that off. Okay. okay, now let's do some vinyl. I've got a small piece. This black is going to go on top of the orange. Again, I mentioned if you are using paper, you won't need to do it this way. And most of you, if you have done vinyl before, you know what I'm doing. I'm not going to stick it yet to it to the rosette until it's dry, but I'm getting it ready. And this piece that I'm using, I'm having to help it along because I've used this piece probably a dozen times, if not more. Okay, y'all, help me center this. I'm looking at my screen instead of the spider so that I can center it. There we go. Close. You get a little bit of that orange outline. Okay, and then when I get ready to do it, it'll be ready. All I have to do is peel this off. And now it's ready to put onto the rosette when it's done drying. Now, let's see, which side are we going to do first? Doesn't matter. Now, I could cut this down to the exact size, but I'm going to be using it for other things. So, I like to keep them as large as I can. Okay, that's the way I start mine off. Then I'll pull this, and as I pull, I'm pushing with this hand. Now, I don't have to pull all the way, because there we go. We've got it all covered. Now, all I have to do is pull this off. But you know what? I need to burnish. Just to make sure that it's stuck good. 
And looky there. Hey, we are ready to put it on our glass block. No, we're not. Gosh, I almost forgot an important step. Anytime you're sticking something to a smooth, non-porous subject, or surface subject, <laughs> you want to clean it with alcohol. Our fingers have touched it, and our fingers have oil in it. You want to get that, that oil off so that the adhesive stays. So I have alcohol in this spray bottle, and I'm using a microfiber cloth. That way I'm not leaving any lint on the surface. And now um, it's just plain rub, rubbing alcohol. Okay, now I'm ready. It dries so quickly. You could use glass cleaner and all those Okay, did I get it on there straight first time? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. It worked. We'll burnish it on there. Pulling it off. Now, if I had been smart, which I'm not, y'all know that, I would have done the other end which I normally would do so that I could have stuck that to the adhesive. Now I saw one little bubble so I'm going to get it out and then I'm going to try not to touch the other side and flip it over so that it's ready to go and we're going to do the pumpkin the same way. Now remember, this sheet of Cricut transfer paper has been used many, many times. And you see that I'm having no problem whatsoever getting it to stick or release. I've not understood anyone having the problem with it except with glitter. If you don't use the strong on glitter vinyl, then it might not. Okay, peel the pumpkin paper off. See how good I can do with this one. Not bad, not bad. Okay, you could make it a little bit larger. And there I go again, the wrong way. But it worked. Okay, now I'm going to do it the other way because I like to save this transfer tape. It's costly. All of our supplies are costly. So if you take it off this way and roll it back on there, as you pull it off, there's less chance of getting objects in there and it'll last you a lot longer. Now, we got bubbles. So I'm working the way out. Or 
I could take a straight pan of the puppy tool and lift it just enough. And I'm going to do that just to show you. And then roll it down. You can also poke a hole in it. That's why I chose the spider web. A lot of negative space in there. You didn't have to worry about bubbles so much. Remember to burnish toward an open area, toward a negative space, so that air can escape. For some reason, I think this old thumbnail might do better. I think I got it. Okay, let's put the ribbon on. And we're just going to tie it in a little bow. And always trim the ends. Got it too big or too little. And I want this bow to go to that side some. This particular ribbon has the wire on each side, so if you wanted to make a large bow that stands up and then put that on there, you could. I really want the bow to kind of to lay down. It's strictly there to kind of cover the sides. It's not the main centerpiece. And let's see if our rosette is dry. And it is. Okay, so now we want to set that aside in a moment. This is really pretty ribbon. See the sparkle? Okay, here we go. We probably will have to help it along as we remove it. because it's not really sticking to the paper. And now your audio hasn't gone out. I'm just not talking right now. I'm focusing. <laughs> Old ladies have to do that. I have a birthday this month. October is my birthday month. Okay. And we're going to stick it right here on top. Now we're not just going to use razor tape. We're going to use a couple of pieces of the foam adhesive. So it will lift off. We're going to put it on the back here so you get it straight.
I should have let it dry just a little bit more. I saw some of the glue coming undone. So I will take it off and let it dry just a little bit more. Oh, I know what I can do. I can put the acrylic top right here. Let it dry just a little bit longer and it will be ready. So I hope you learned a few things from me today. I always appreciate you joining me. Uh, you got some ideas for your own glass block. And think about those ideas for Thanksgiving and uh, Christmas, New Year's. They make great gifts. And I appreciate you joining me today. Remember to check me out on Patreon.com. Your The address is located at the bottom. And before I end this video, I want to let you know that I'm on a roll, guys. I've got three more projects prepped. So I'm hoping to get to where at least I'm putting out two a week, maybe three. So keep looking for me, and I appreciate you staying to the end. Don't forget to click the thumb so that you'll know each time that I put it out. And messy hair day. I don't care. Oh, oh. Don't forget, all detours still lead to your destiny. Have a great day. Love you.